guys, welcome back to my channel. So today you're watching pregnancy symptoms from my first pregnancy because I know that ended in a BFP. I am trying to conceive right now and hoping this ends in a BFP, but I don't know yet. I'll be testing in three days. So I wanted to look back to my first pregnancy with my son, Reed, who is now three years old. And I wanted to let you know what my symptoms were because I had very clear symptoms. I wrote them down on my calendar and I know exactly what I was having at each time and it did result in a big fat positive. So keep watching if you wanna see the earliest symptoms of pregnancy before your missed period. If you wanna know the earliest signs of pregnancy, feel on top of your game for the TTC journey and all other motherhood related stuff, be sure to start by subscribing to my channel now and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Disclaimer here, this may be a little TMI if you are not trying to conceive. Uh, it's all about bodily functions, obviously, so if you don't wanna watch, click off now. I got pregnant with Reed in May of 2016, and I had him in February of 2017, and on my calendar here, I have exact things that we did at the time and exact symptoms that were happening at the time. So I wanna share that with you. So first of all, basically after my missed period, we had sex at least every day for probably, I don't know, a week and a half. Like we just kept going and going and going. And so we really wanted to get pregnant and we wanted it to happen fast and so that was the approach. So I'm pretty confident, I wasn't tracking ovulation then, but I'm pretty confident that I got pregnant probably from having sex literally the day before or the day of ovulation. So this time right now, I only had sex once, three days before ovulation, we took a casual approach. So I don't know if I'm pregnant yet, but looking back at my symptoms, I ovulated on May 10th. That was the predicted ovulation day that I thought would be um, most accurate. And exactly 10 days later, I had some cramping and some light ble spotting like they say you have for implantation. So that would have been on the 20th. So that was 10 days later, I think, that I implanted. And up to that point, I did not really have any symptoms that I wrote down or know of. So I basically had a little cramping on the day of implantation. And then three days later, I had cramps in the night and they started to get pretty strong. And that is when I tested, I took the pregnancy test and it came back positive. So the only symptoms I had were some cramps on implantation day and then three days later the cramps started. And then after that, so about a week after implantation, I started having cramps for the next three days, pretty strong and also felt very bloated. I had sore boobs and I felt feverish. So this was my um, symptoms for that first week. And about two weeks after implantation happened, so about one week after the positive pregnancy test, I started having nausea, nausea. And I would get really sick feeling every time I would wake up, I'd have to eat crackers. And I wasn't throwing up yet, but it was getting to the point where I was very nauseous. After that, the symptoms just started to roll in one after another. Um, the cramps started to slow, which was nice, but then I started getting headaches, body aches, fever. Um, I started having nausea, being really tired, and then I started throwing up after that. So really my first two weeks before I got the, the BFP, I had some cramps and that was about it. So not a ton of symptoms on the first pregnancy, so it kind of uh, makes me feel a little better about this pregnancy because I haven't had a lot of symptoms yet. I don't even know if I'm pregnant yet and I will be testing in three days, but I've basically only had some cramps. No spotting though, which is disappointing because usually for implantation, um, I think 25% of women actually have some spotting, so it's not super common, but I'm hoping that maybe this will be my month. So if you guys are trying to conceive, just keep, keep positive, stay positive, know that this is going to work out and it's going to be in the perfect timing. And if we don't get our BFPs this month, that is okay. There's next month we can try again, but that is the um, symptoms that I had with my first pregnancy. I'll be doing a video soon, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you want to see my symptoms this pregnancy and what happened and if I got my BFP.